Hey, in this video, we're going to talk about warm-ups, whether or not they improve performance or reduce the risk of injury. But before we get started, please hit that like and subscribe button for me. Thank you. So according to the NSCA, before you participate in any sort of athletic activity, either practice, training, or competitions, you're supposed to follow this formal warm-up protocol. Typically, it's lower intensity movements to higher intensity movements, dynamic stretching before ballistic activities, general kind of general exercises before performing specific exercises. The NFCA suggests you take about five to eight to 10 to 12 minutes on each step of this progression before you actually go participate in your activity. So what they would consider as a proper warm up is about five to 10 minutes of light movement like jogging or skipping. Then once you do that, you perform about eight to 12 minutes of dynamic stretching, something like lunge variations or a walking knee hug where you're squeezing that knee, pulling it through an exaggerated range of motion. And then you can move on to more sport specific movements like A skips, B skips, bounding, things of that nature. And then after that, according to the NFCA, you're now prepared for your athletic activity of the day. And to go through this type of proper warm up would take about 15 to 20 minutes. And according to the book, the benefits of warming up like this include faster muscle contraction and relaxation of both agonist and antagonist muscles, improvements in rate of force development and reaction time, improvements in muscle strength and power, improved oxygen delivery, increased blood flow to active muscles, and enhanced metabolic reactions. And while those benefits are accurate, you don't actually need to go through that formal of a progression to get those benefits. Those benefits can actually be achieved through just general activity. Several recent research studies have actually looked at different warm-up protocols and their effects on performance in jumping and sprinting. The different warm-up protocols used in these studies include five minutes of jogging versus five minutes of jogging plus dynamic stretching versus five minutes of jogging plus foam rolling versus dynamic stretching and some small jumping activities, etc. And all of the results of these studies show that there is no difference in jump performance or sprint performance between any of these different warm-up protocols, indicating that what you do for a warm-up probably doesn't matter that much. But there are three things that do matter in a warm-up. That's being able to elevate your heart rate, probably to about 60% of your heart rate max, activating your sympathetic nervous system, and increasing your core body temperature. Doing these three things will allow you to produce high force at a high rate, increase blood flow to working muscles, and metabolically prepare you for activity. But again, you can do this just by taking part in any activity as long as you're increasing your intensity gradually. You can do this jogging, you can do this by playing spike ball, you can do this by shooting layups. Typically only takes about five minutes before you get warmed up. Now as for the question of whether or not warmups can reduce the risk of injury, the answer is probably not, but we don't know. We don't have any evidence to suggest that it does. Now if you work for an organized team, I'm not saying just let them do whatever they want for their warm up. You still gotta have some structure. It just doesn't have to be as formal as what the book says. It's probably a good idea to just get moving right away, giving your athletes different movements to do during the warm ups as much as possible, allow them to explore and develop new motor patterns. Now I don't think it's wrong if you wanna perform a full dynamic warm up like what the NSCA recommends, but when we have a limited amount of training time, I really want to take advantage of the time we do have to train. I hope that information is helpful. Please hit that like and subscribe button for me. Thank you and have a great day.